Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. And with Blueberry, the community that gives creators the power to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get a 30-day free trial by using promo code BLUEBERRY004. Welcome to CES. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you do. Yeah, so we're uh, uh, we're in the business of helping people sleep. That's a good thing. Sleep better. Ah, one of my favorite subjects. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So 174 million people have difficulty sleeping across the United States, and uh, I can see you raising your hand. A lot of people raise their hand. Yeah. And um, it's, a, it's, it's really a huge issue for these individuals that can't sleep well at nighttime. They don't function well during the daytime. They don't concentrate well. So everybody's looking for a, a better way to get uh, to sleep at nighttime. Uh, I've spent my career uh, focusing on trying to help people get better oh, sleep. Oh, is that right? Is that, is that what your PhD is in that type of? Yeah, so is I'm a really? physician. I'm a sleep medicine doctor and uh, spent most of my career at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine where I did research hey, in I'm, sleep medicine. I'm a Pennsylvania myself. Are you really? Great. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. My brother Neil is the youngest guy, I think still to this day, to get his PhD in organic and inorganic chemistry. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was 21 years old. Oh, my goodness. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Crazy. Okay, well, go ahead. No, that's... <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when I was there, I, I was, you know, uh, treating a lot of people that had sleep problems. And so the research that I did was in brain imaging. Right. And when we did, uh, when we looked inside the brains of people that weren't sleeping well at nighttime, we found that their, their minds were overactive. They couldn't settle their brains down in order to get to sleep at nighttime. And the reason for that was is because they had increased metabolic activity in their frontal cortex, the front of their brain, their thinking brain. They, they just kept thinking throughout Can't the night. Can't shut it time. off. Can't shut it off. That's exactly hey, right. Hey, maybe I'm going to not only have fun here at CES, but maybe I'm going to get some treatment here. Okay, yeah, go ahead. This is good. Yeah, this is good. So, <laughs> uh, so the idea then is to come up with some way to help these people settle their minds down or settle their brains down. Uh, there are lots of drug solutions out there, but they can have some problems and yes, some side effects. Not everybody wants to take a pill. Um, so I came up, invented the idea of uh, the EB device, which uses a mechanism of cooling. If we know that if you can gently cool brain tissue, you can reduce activity that in right? that part of the mind. Uh, so we, uh, oh, okay. it's a technique that's been used in emergency medicine and neurology. If somebody has a stroke or brain injury, they can cool the brain tissue and protect it. And we know that that reduces activity in that part of the mind. So we developed a, a forehead cooling device. It's worn over the forehead, really? which is where the frontal cortex is. And it passes circulating cooled fluids over the forehead. It's like uh, you know, putting your forehead in a in a cool mountain stream, if you will. It's a very pleasant sensation. It's very calming. It's very soothing. Uh, and when we did that, and we repeated some of our brain imaging studies, we found that the activity in the brain reduced in the frontal cortex. And people were very uh, pleasantly surprised. They said that they they'd never quite slept as well as they had previously. So it was a very uh, it was nice to see that. We followed that up with some clinical trials, and we demonstrated the efficacy, completely safe. So people see this as a, a very natural solution to their sleep problems. Uh, that works in a a way that's safe but as effective as other treatments that are out there. I have never heard of that approach. Uh, I, I, I review technical gadgets, for lack of a better word. And yeah. This last year, maybe two years, but certainly the last year, I have seen it, for lack of a better word, an explosion of sleep devices. Yeah. Uh, yesterday alone I saw six. Wow. Didn't see yours, which I, I, we need, I need to see that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, a lot of them are basing it on, uh, you know, biofeedback, meditation, things right. like that. Right. Uh, I saw a couple yesterday that were based on, uh, quote, retraining your brain through uh, exercises and moving, things like that. And right. then when I asked him, well, if you train your brain once, are you good? He goes, well, no, you got to keep it up. Uh, it's like any other muscle. And yeah. uh, that seems to be the approach. I've seen the other approaches uh, using light. Uh, which 
I can't get my my brain around. No pun intended. Yeah. Uh, you know, changing the light to blue, green, red, and I'm like, I, I don't know. I I haven't tested that particular device out. I've tested others out, but the light, I got a problem with. So, right. what, what's your feedback on that? Yeah. So, so one of the things that we think kind of separates us from some of the other products that you might see is. We're really science-backed. Um, I'm a past president of the Sleep Research Society in the United States, and I've really spent the majority of my career in academic research, getting NIH-funded grants and, and doing brain imaging. So I'm an expert in sleep science sure. and in the mechanisms of sleep. Um, in the beginning, we really uh, we wanted to tie a treatment into what the problem is, and we found the problem in the frontal cortex, and then we did studies. Uh, we did probably 10 years of studies before we ever wow. got to the market. So here this. we have an established track record, so I'm, li- I'm liking this already. Yeah. First of all, he has the background, but secondly, he's done the testing, the analysis, and he's had the experience in that. And interesting. Yeah. I, again, remember we talked earlier about how devices involve. Some people come up with it in the bathtub. Uh, you know, here, here's a doctor, scientist, PhD, who, you know, is, this has been evolving for, for from the day you got into the business, so to speak. Yeah, this is uh, this is a 30-year overnight you go. sensation. There 30 years. You know, okay, so. I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm excited yeah. about the product, so yeah, yeah. tell me more. Um, so, um, so we did a lot of clinical trials. We actually went to the FDA and got FDA clearance. And Wonderful. And, you know, getting FDA clearance we, is like a four- to five-year process. We just talked so. for 20 minutes just before you came up about that exact process or yeah. lack of process. Go ahead. It's, it's brutal. It's you know, and torturous. It's, it's yeah, almost yeah. unfair. Well, you know, there's lots of discussion we could have. Uh, yeah, I know. That's uh, a whole other show. That's a whole other show. But... Uh, but it is kind of the, the good housekeeping seal of approval in the medical world for Absolutely. medical devices. And uh, so our, our first product really was a prescription product. And then uh, later out, we, we came out with a consumer product because it was such a safe uh, product. There were really no side effects. It didn't really have to be prescribed, uh, so to speak. So. Yeah, so it's available now. Uh, it's on Amazon. You can get it on our website. Really, let's take yeah. a look at the product. I'm going to sure. put it over here because yeah, that's sure. my yep. that's my spot. So yeah. this this is the device. I'm so glad you brought this in. Yeah. So this is uh, this is kind of a, a new generation of the uh, device that we've come out with. Our our first device, as I mentioned, kind of circulated cooling fluids. But this is a device that has all the cooling mechanisms built into the, uh, the forehead pad. Uh, it uses uh, thermoelectric cooling, so inside this device that fits over the forehead, there are a couple of chips that are, um, that are, that are cooling chips, if you will, and, and then there's a, a fan uh, mechanism in there that, that dissipates some of the heat that that might produce. And then it has a wand, and there's a battery that can be recharged. Uh, and you can turn it on from the wand. Uh, it starts to cool, <laughs> and uh, you know it, it. It has that relaxing. So sensation. this goes on basically the forehead, if you will. That's correct. Yeah. Okay, and this would go up. Obviously. That's over. It's just right. like a headband that works. Okay, there. and uh, is there fluid in here, or it's all done from transducers, or? That's all done. This is all electronic here, so okay. it uses TECs or thermoelectric cooling. Um, People are probably familiar, like a, a wine chiller or a wine cooler uses that type of cooling. Now, is this going to give everyone the same amount of cooling? Am I going to get the same amount as you or someone else, or does it vary? Do I get feedback from my body, from my brain that reads this and says, hey, you need more, you need less? Exactly. So it is a little bit of an intelligent device. So it, it's, uh, it's monitoring the amount of cooling that is required based on the heat that's coming off of somebody. Okay, so, uh, so it is in a sense interactive. It's sen- it's taking some readings from me and then that's making correct. decisions as to what I need based on. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it and uh, so there may be times of the night when you're really producing a lot of energy. Your brain's really working hard. It's going to produce a, a higher level of cooling during that period of time. And there's batteries that this operates off of? There's batteries, rechargeable batteries. Rechargeable batteries. Are yep. they standard batteries? Or are they uh, No, it's all built in. Oh, okay. And it, it plugs into a circuit into okay. uh, the, the wall gotcha. and can be recharged that okay. way. Okay. Uh, is this available now? This, uh, our other version that is a forehead cooling pad using circulating fluids is available now. 
Uh, this is a next generation product that we're just introducing here at this meeting, but it's it won't be on the shelves for uh, probably later this year, uh, second or third quarter of, uh, of 2000. Give me a, a price range of this. Yeah, so the, the current version that's out now is in the $499 uh, it's range. It's very reasonably priced, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's that's good to hear. Yeah. I think it is. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I would do that to sleep. I mean... Well, what would somebody pay for a good night of sleep, you know, night after yeah. night? In the and as we all know, I mean, it's just not that you get the sleep. It, it refreshes your brain. You're going to feel better in the day. You're going to be more productive. You're not going to be tired all day, grouchy, but I'm never grouchy. So uh, That's, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Well, where, where can I learn more about this? What's the website? Uh, www.ebsleep.com. So okay. ebbsleep.com. All right. Uh, two quick questions for you because I'm, I'm, I'm getting the wrap-up. Yeah. Uh, Will you come back on my Gadget Professor show after CES calms down and, uh, Absolutely. Uh, and Love. spend some time going over this? Because oh. uh, my audience loves these things, and I, I, I love them too. It's fa the science of it is fascinating to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is. So yeah, you, you we've do got that. decades of clinical trial data. We can we can go over with it, yeah. Yeah, but you're the real deal. This is yeah. cool instead of talking to a salesperson. Not that I don't like salespeople, <laughs> but when you talk to the, you know the doctor who is actually behind it, you learn a lot. Very good. Yep, very good. I, I can't thank you enough for, for, for coming on board today. Yeah, thank really you. Really cool. And where's your booth? Uh, I'm blanking is on it here? It's is here. It? Yeah, okay. it's, it's on the on the floor down here. Yeah. Is, is it downstairs or on this uh, floor? On this floor. Okay, yep. I'm going to yep. find you later. And, uh, 43824. And say hello. 43824. 43824. Yeah. If you're at CES... Uh, you got to check this out because if you're sleeping, that's cool. But you know, maybe someone else isn't. But uh, you know, here's science, technology, great price point, and uh, looks pretty cool. I'm gonna have to give it a give it a test sometime. All great. right. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much. Take I, care. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. One. Yeah. Thank you.